Hello, any VOD watchers? Hello, any VOD watchers? Hello, any VOD watchers? This is Elden Ring part three. I'm going to put the link to part one in a second. Once I'm sure that the thing is working, we're alive. Elden Ring part one is here in the chat. Elden Ring part two was on the alt channel, which is here. So you might get lost and confused if you try and watch things in order. So I'm trying to put them at the beginning of the VOD for VOD watcher convenience. Elden Wing. Elden Wing. Elden Wing. At least six hours of sleep. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, on paper that doesn't sound so good. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Wish I could watch, but spoilerinos. True. So true. Uh, especially because I freaking no lifed last night. We were up till 6 a.m. gaming on the alt channel. Many things were accomplished. Ooh, we're in the new area after the sword boss that i hated Rel relena or whatever their name was absolutely hate them one of my least favorite bosses ever not fair loser cheater boss they're dead because we outscaled them and tried a bunch and i feel like i cheesed them but i feel like you have to cheese that boss and there's no other way uh and then we did this whole area which was apparently the starting dungeon and i missed it completely where you fight uh, the lion boss who is uh, very cool but also <laughs> also such, like I'm my main concern going in the DLC is that all the bosses are going to be really obnoxious let me say that is a boss I am so glad that we skipped this early area and that we also kind of just outscaled that boss and were able to brute force it because uh, that, that felt like a fight with the uh, the camera. Cool boss, though. So I at least respect that it was a cool-looking boss. Whereas the uh, the sword lady... It was, just a, it was just a person. Just a person with no poise and infinite attack strings. Hate them. Losers. Uh, climbed up to the top of the mountain. Apparently I could go all the way. And there is a big arena to fight, like, Giga Endgame Dragon Boss that I'm not going to do. Not quite yet. And, anyway, just got to this zone, which is on the other side of the castle where you fight Sword Lady. We switched to... Right-armed swordsman. We only use right arm, I guess. We do half of a T-pose. When we hold it for a second, we get the red around us. So we deal bonus damage with the uh, the Ash of War when we do that, which is a crazy amount of damage. We were hitting for like 3,000 with it. And also it can go into this as well, and they all seem to get the damage bonus. Actually, that keeps me in the stance. It doesn't look like I drop the buff because it just puts you right back into the stance. It never goes away there. Whereas that one, it went away for a second. 
Maybe that's worth considering. I didn't notice that. Um, but yeah, whole new zone. New me. Uh, I picked up a note that said to the east, there was a martial artist who wanted to duel me for some reason. Such a weird Elden Ring, like Dark Souls message. There was just a note here. It was like, hey, yo, I do martial arts. Come to the east. No need to talk. I will fight you. And I assume that's where you get the, uh, you know, obviously the martial arts weapon punching that you can do. So I kind of want to go there. If it scales with decks, I might try and use it for a bit. Oh, uh, one minute. Okay. Thought someone was trying to talk to me. It was Ashley. I think she's watching my VOD. Uh, which in the beginning of the stream, if you missed part two, it was on the other, uh, the alt channel. And I linked it in the beginning of the VOD. So that it would be easier to find. And I highlighted it so it doesn't disappear. Dude, shout out! Dude, we knights cavalrying? This road is funny. You can see the repeating texture all the way down. It's kind of a banana land vibe. Poses in middle of road at you? What are you gonna do about it? Ah! Yeah, giga damage. Show whoop! That's pretty much how we beat the sword lady. Is we just stood away from her and avoided all of her nonsense attacks and then occasionally blooped and walked away. Because it seems like uh, the bosses, when you scale the Souls Reich, the Souls, <laughs> the Souls Reich, Jesus Christ, dude. They're not ready for it. They're not ready for the Souls Reich. Uh, when you scale souls like bosses to like DLC level, it just becomes they attack 30 times you get to hit them once and then you retreat. And it's just infinite patience. Which I suppose is difficulty. And that's why Bloodborne was better. Because when you scale that up and it's Bloodborne and you heal when you hit things and you could be more aggressive, that's why, that's why Bloodborne's better. Or should I say, just the best souls like. Bloodborne PC win. Okay, Grandpa. Dude, Bloodborne came out 14 years ago. Can you believe it? Yeah, I bet you feel old now. Ooh, a fragment. Gobbledygook. How many years ago was it actually? It was not 14 years. I know, um... Dude, it's actually crazy my most anticipated game is like Path of Exile 2. Which is coming out soon. Has like a relative release date in November. I think I would actually be more immediately excited if they were like, hey, Bloodborne 2 is coming out on PC. Dude. You're getting chumpoed. The single worst game to ever exist? It would be very difficult. They would have to try their absolute hardest for PoE2 to be bad. 
Especially they've they've shown like uh there's a lot of gameplay that exists already of it. It's not like ah! we're going in blind. Why is there a group of misbegootens? Just chilling and being begootin. Okay, we got a whole nother big O castle. Is that the... No, that's the one we came out of? Yeah. In it? It's just a different part of it. What's... The game to beat the current single worst game to ever exist? Mm, you'd have to dive into some pretty... Pretty dumpy game. Big rigs. <laughs> I would nominate the clicking banana game where you click the banana and then you get NFT bananas that you sell on the Steam store. I feel like that's a, that's a valid vote. Like, how much more distilled into disgustingness can you really get? Unless the game also crashed every time you clicked, like, 30 times. Schmiffing stone. Do I have any... I still got the spear on the swap. My utility spear. I don't go anywhere without my utility spear. Oh shit, I took the spear throw off of it. <laughs> Whoops. I was testing this out. Which is awful, by the way. That's uh that was a uh reward from the dragon boss. That is a boss remembrance ash of war. It's like worse than Horfrost Stomp was before it was nerfed. It is uh it, I, I thought on normal enemies, maybe it would actually deal damage, and it really doesn't. Oh, damn. I had plus two. Yeah, we are almost at the 100% increased damage and damage reduction at 10 blessings. Which is clearly what needs to be done before you fight that goddamn Relena, 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 Relena. Wait, what that? Stir! Hey, Ashley. I just recapped all of the things if you missed it. But I think I told you a fair bunch of it. It seems like you were looking at the lot. Yo, gas stones! Love a gas stone. Smith script spear. Yo, this might actually have a throwing ability like built into it. Nope. The uh the Smith dagger did. Execute a strong attack or a mounted strong attack to throw the spear. By your mount it on the horse, you get a throwing spear. But it requires intelligence and faith. Why? And just one in each would, it would be what I would have to do, but it doesn't have... Well, it does have int and faith scaling. Why? What? Okay. It's very weird. Yeah, if you just have every stat in the game, uh, I, I I suppose you could put occult on it and get arcane scaling on it as well. I 
I freaking love the throw spear. That's the one thing I we respect a little bit off of pure dexterity. To use this sword, which we have a B scaling strength index instead of just pure dex. I'm hoping I find another light great sword that's more dex focused, to be honest. Uh but yeah, I freaking love the throwing spear. I didn't even know it existed in this game until I was prepping for the DLC. I have a ton of soul shit. Okay. I could get that one face and one in. What the frick is this? Okay. That makes that makes logical sense. Don't really know what I was expecting. Clues in my souls, like we already fought some of these before. They had a a gem on their butt. I probably need my flail to hit a rock guy. slow before we were fighting these I, I don't know if it's because it's a higher area zone but flail was absolutely smashing them as it do but uh it is also set to deck scaling The freak out of here, dude. I'm a big fan of anything you can hold on your head. I'm fat rolling because I put the flail on. The truth is spoken. Perfectly in the wall, so you can't backstab him. I doubt you can even actually backstab these. That makes a lot more sense. And perfectly in a hallway. Let's see, you can't hit his butt. What an intelligent foe. Really adapting to the environment. That didn't hit him. <laughs> As opposed to me. A real specimen.
I think that goes to show how freaking good the spear throw is at staggering things. Okay, come out here. Come out here, Chumpo. I really should have just climbed that ladder, huh? Then we're going to wait all day. We got to wait to pass this car. It's going two miles an hour. Yep. Yep. <gasps> the people's elbow. In ass. Smell what he's cooking? Um, excuse me. I can smell what he's smithing. I did all of that. For a smithing stone, I don't need. Let the record show. When you add up the Elden Ring DLC playthrough, you're going to have to add three hours for that fight for this, the Somber Stone 7. Dude! He pet it. He's pet it. You can pet it. He pet it. They besties. Ignored. Just keep petting your dog. What's gonna be? There's one right behind me, isn't there? <laughs> or that. Right as I grabbed it, I thought to myself, wait a second. No, they haven't done this gimmick in the dungeon yet. That's a lot. That must be it I'm trying to remember the last one of these areas i was in i don't think there was a boss in it either i keep being surprised okay no this is a new we haven't been here yet this is the other place that looks like the starting place but isn't the starting place Never mind. I was trying to remember if there was a boss in the other one. I'm just forgetting. I don't know. Well, shoot. I'm going to say that's a plus one for no boss. Which kind of gives you a talisman or something at the end of the area. But then the other one looped back around. Is that what this is? I believe so. One of these paths, I think, is just the starting zone. There should be a ladder here. Yeah, this is where the misbegottens were. Okay. We officially Skyrim looped. A classic. Uh, blind spot. That's the backhand blade. We were using those for a while. This one is int faith scaling. Just like the other one. The every stat. 
And the talisman enhances weapon throwing attacks. Bruh. Bruh. But by how much? Where is it? Where is it? I spent this whole dungeon talking about how I love throwing spear. Uh, actually, if a weapon scales with multiple attributes, it scales with all of those attributes based on the amount it says. So, like, that one was E and Int, so it would only use a small percentage of intelligence. So if it's E and Int and A in Strength, you get a lot of Strength scaling and a little bit of Int scaling. So, like, the E's are basically nothing. When you upgrade the weapon, the scaling goes up as well. But you need to upgrade the weapon to see how much the scaling actually goes up. So it's hard to say what that weapon ends up looking like and how useful it is. Hold on, I need to throw. Holy shit, that was a lot of fucking damage. 1200 for a throwing spear dude this this spear also used to be stronger because when you put keen scaling on it it was an s in dexterity and we were pure dex before it was hitting for like one to two hundred more damage than i'm currently hitting there was also a there's so much stuff in this dlc that i would say is a shame isn't like base game content in the, in the normal zones. I feel like they really learned a lot from Elden Wing. Because there's a whole bunch of stuff that, that fills really niche gaps that they... Like, there's a talisman that increases storm effects. There's all the perfume weapons that, fill, like, make perfumes feel useful. There's, like, increased pot-throwing damage hats. There's, like, a whole bunch of band-aid items to fix... Stuff that was, uh, kind of niche. I mean, it's still kind of niche, but, like, you know what I'm saying? The, uh, the improved storm skill damage talisman. There's, like, almost no storm skills. But it's cool that you could, uh, consider actually using them now. Because you really couldn't before. Where am I? I've kind of just been wandering. We were looking for the martial arts man who said he was to the east. Uh, I am going to... Past time until the morning. So it can be a little bit bright out when we storm the fjord. I think one more he's stunned. No. There's practically one more he's dead at this point. Let me take that flail off, put the shield back on. Yeah, I don't know how useful of a spot the throwing thing is unless I was like full committed to it still, but I really wanted to try. It's pretty funny that it does work. I wonder if it counts the stance as a charged skill. Probably not. But that would also be freaking cool.
Your boyfriend is live? Cool, go tell him I'm live. Go spam in his chat that I'm live. That would be epic. We would both really appreciate that. It's the corpse shoot. When you have too many bodies in your castle and you just need a corpse shoot. You've all run into this problem, yeah? Please. Not tank those. I'm freaking bleeding, dude. Oh, I ignored the item. The iris of who? America's rune? The what? America just in the fucking corpse pile? Excuse me? The brilliance of Queen Marika's grace blinds even the very best. Okay. Iris is the dark night. A uh, consumable place on the eye of another to deny light in all its forms. In the realm of shadow, this artifice was employed by the priests of the Erd Tree to intensify the fears of their flock. Weird. Well, yep. I guess, uh... Rika's just... just dead. In the pile. But her beauty still shine through. Oh, it's the boys. Beep, 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 boop. I've noticed. I don't know. Never mind. Thought discarded. I haven't noticed anything. Basically blind. I have two of those eyes socketed in my head. It's epic sauce. Oh yeah. We did briefly use the Zweihander, which scales really well with my current build. I was considering using more of it, but then I think I'd have to get rid of the shield to be able to meet the... No, then I'm still heavy load. I would maybe be willing to drop my armor weight to be able to have it on the rotation. But it really stinks not having the shield. But against certain enemies, it freaking blasts. I don't think we have to give up that much armor, apparently.
And I'm using the shield less and less. Oh, you're the guy. They freaking blast. <laughs> I'm accidentally one-handing, but I can't stop the string. Safety heals. He says as he dies. <laughs> Ash of War, aspects of the crucible. Wings. Dude, that guy gives you wings. We've not been using any spells though. Mercy build. Dude, can I resurrect? Yeah, I was surprised I was staggering him with the Zweihander. Usually, like, he's kind of like a Crucible Knight. He could not attack back. I should have just kept doing that. Spells? Uh, incantations? What do the wings do? Uh, it would be the thing where he flew up into the sky and spun around at me is one of the there's like the set of dragon incantations where you like grow a tail and slash in, in elden ring you grow the shoulder and you boop people i think there's a similar wing one oh, what the heck was that oh cookbook i want to see I mean, it's it's kind of a pain in the ass. <laughs> I also probably well, actually, it's an Ash of War. I suppose I don't have to have faith to use it. Yeah, it's not really a spell. It's an Ash of War show. Even though there are Ash of War spells, you know what? Do you know what I think about it? It is kind of weird. That it's not a... A spell. What do I think of the Great Katana? I think it looks nothing like a Katana and should have just been a curved greatsword. But it was... is okay, I guess. Be, I mean, I'm curious with the Zweihander greatsword scaling if that absolutely smashes. Okay, dude, you're going to have to get down from there so I can test that. Got him. Got him. Not good enough. When I can, uh, I can get this to hit for 3,000.
and it's slow and it's dumb and my wife wanted to see it. Oh, I respawned him. Well, time to die again, chumpo. The crouch poke? Uh, didn't they nerf that forever ago? I think one of the first balance patches they did, they nerfed it because it was like, uh, it was too good in PvP. Looks a lot slower than it used to be. So what's the throwing spear scale with? Uh, it is a... Primarily, that one is a deck scaling one, but we qualityed it so it's a B strength, B dex. So it can go to an S on Keen for dex. I really want to find another light greatsword that is deck scaling and then go back to pure dex. It seems like the kind of thing that would exist. What am I? Did a tree just fall down outside? What the fuck? Yo, inoculated 26. Thanks for making a tree fall down with your sub. My fucking psycho. Secret chest. Yeah, I'd watch other streamers, but they don't find that chest. Yeah, how many, how many invisible walls have the other streamers found? Not more than me. I found one. Yeah, I'm winning. It's the squad! Yo, he's alive. That's freaked up. Dude, they're perfectly aliving. I can't abide this. Whoa, a smithing stone! Times eight? Okay. Dude, I love rocks. I do wonder if they balance past... Balance pass gives the wrong impression of what I'm talking about. They changed anything with base Elden Ring campaign. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so clearly an enemy could stand there. Where is that? Did to jump off that roof? torrent in the elden beast fight right now yeah i don't mean anything that was on the patch notes and that's not really what i mean by balance patch i mean like any actual additions i'm kind of doubting it but like the whole game the progression for this zone feels very different than everywhere else. 
See, that's where we have to go. I guess what I'm trying to say is the progression of the DLC is way better than the base game. And I wonder if they learned anything that they carried over to the base game. Or if it was not worth the time. I would assume the only way to get there is jumping over. It doesn't seem I can get on this wall. I mean, I could... No, it even seems like those spears are placed so you can't do it. Okay. That means I haven't gotten that grace, right? Oh, frick. Play game or gift. <gasps> Thanks for subbing, don't care, Dolphin. stone there's a spirit blast that shoots you up here really and I never made it down to like this ledge I don't even know how I would have got there Why weird. See, it's pretty weird that there's a grace here in general. Like, okay, there's a grace right here. If you did jump up here with the horse. And you come over here. There's one enemy, and then there's a grace right down there. And this DLC is pretty, uh... Pretty graceless. You know what I'm saying? Was that an abductor? What the fuck? Kinda getting like special teleport abductor vibes from this. For it to be randomly in a corner behind a castle. It feels like you'd have to very intentionally come find that thing. I ain't letting it eat me. Dude, that's fucking dark magic. I mean, if it was a teleporter one, it wouldn't respawn, right? I don't know if the one... I assume the one in Lucaria does not respawn when you do... <laughs> what the fuck are they doing here? <laughs> Alright, well... If it is a teleporter one, there's a spare. They were kissing? They're decommissioned. They're a little faulty. Or 
onward. This smells like ambush. Two death dragons fighting? There's a lot of dragons fighting. Oh no, it's just one. Getting marauded by many men. Dude, I hope you guys deal some damage to it. Doesn't look like you are. Ow, what the fuck? <laughs> Why is it weak? Oh, that guy turned around and is like this dragon killing my friends. There's a dude with a horse up there. Guys, watch the flank. Dude, that is far to shoot an arrow. Yeah, they are not hurting it. Where am I on the map? I need to go back to the spawn and kill the first death dragon and the, uh, the giant red. Is this the one you meant? You crazy. Why is it showing the stone there? I read a note that says if you topple these, it activates the mist, but... Does that mean I have to find? It just goes back up to the castle I think I was just in anyway. I don't know. Confused. When me confused, get on horse and go somewhere else. Oh, the runes. When he climbs with the pot. That enemy. Ah, fuck. That enemy is the argument for the shield. This enemy is really hard to fight without one. Don't want to without the shield. I think I'm just dealing some giga damage at this point. Goes pretty far down, huh? Someone dropped a nuke in here. They destroyed the whole city, dude. I'm not sure it's worth holding onto this Vihander at all. Really not sure. I mean, besides that it poise breaks some enemies, I think the enemies that it would poise break, I kill quick enough. It doesn't matter. Raise potency of kicking. Fuck, dude. Okay, so you have this one. That's new. Which raises the potency of kicking. There's also the new martial arts, which has a kick as an Ash of War. But what I'm thinking, what I'm cooking, is that there is the talisman that boosts storm skills, 
So I'm wondering if like the Storm Stomp is both a kick and a storm skill. And then you could full commit to the storm. Dude, that is way too far down. There's a ledge there that feels like you could land on it, but you really truly never know. No. Maybe there, right on, on the right? I'm not convinced. Yeah. Well... Elden Wing. Yep. Unfortunate. Torrent trusted you to double jump? It doesn't work like that. Double jumping increases the amount of fall distance that you have taken. Because you go higher. It's just logic, man. I gotta hold up. I gotta go get my souls that I dropped in a hole that looked like I could drop in the hole. Hold on, hold on. There was a hole that went down and it looked like there was a floor and I could go in the hole. But it killed me. I still feel like there's a way to land on like a very specific edge there and not die. But at the same time... Nah, if that killed me, I don't think there's any way. Barring some goofy gimmick. I love how when you're playing a game like this, you can have a, a train of thought, get jumped by an enemy, and then only finish the sentence after the fight is over. Good times. What is that weapon? It's the Malady. Light greatsword. New weapon. In the first castle across the bridge. talisman so when we stand in this pose long enough uh the following attack will deal more damage speed water ash 
Julie, it's time to summon Yoda. Yoda, I beckon you. Hear my call. don't really know where I'm going kind of just wandering I feel like there's a death bird in this lake I feel like every lake I've seen there is some horrible tragedy in it nope cave hey guys cave cave over here we got a skidoo tree Holy moly. There's a secret herd tree growing here. Time to kill everyone in this place for some reason. <laughs> Holy shit, there's hope in this land of shadow. Time to fucking crush it. Those are perfumers. The last time I saw them, they were buffing people. Because I don't want to run in in case they've got some boys they're just gonna let me kill them they are really saying please no this herd tree means everything it's the only thing we have our land is dying we're defending it please stop throwing spears at us heal from afar chop okay Good luck with that, guys. Uh-oh, we're going into those swamplands. Watch out to see a couple swamp monsters. Take this. Ow! Some of that. Thank you. These things must be pretty scaled. I feel like we were hitting these for like 700 before. I think I'm thinking in terms of old Souls games. So I thought around 10 of the blessings would be where you would like max out. But then I remembered just now this game goes to plus 25 on weapons. So if it does similar, that is legitimately 250%. Wait, no, I'm doing it wrong. I'm too dumb. Never mind. Giving up. Abandoning. That's a lot. That's a lot of Hades roguelike scaling. Thanks for the cookbook. And the scale. Appreciate that. Now you get to live. See, that's what the people at the Erd Tree should have done given me something wouldn't have had to end their way of life I have already killed so many of these birds I feel like I am the number one cause leading to these birds being extinct. I'm over it. Rubast. Based.
I think that's victim blaming. I'm the victim. I didn't get anything. It's uh, life is perspective. You know what I mean? Left? This way, because this way has the map. No, they want to kill me. Because they ain't me. They'd be guarding a divine tower still. There's one thing I hate more than anything it's ankles if you've got ankles oh me and you we're gonna have a problem really just letting them have it in the ankle department. Come here. Come here, you little toesies. Germa passed, out, Germa passed out on stream, so some of us had come over here for two seconds to tell you that we're Germa viewers. That's so fun. Germa sent me a message for you guys. Shut the fuck up! Whoa. He's so real. Those guys drop anything? <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. What was this? Relic found at the ancient ruins. True. That is true. I got any random crafties? It's all pots. It's all pots. Always has been. Well, I hope for all of you, your, your attention span recovers from the one minute where Germa was AFK. But if it doesn't, thanks for coming here. How's it going? Howdy doody. Tried to hug him. Tried to one-arm hug him. He started trying to hug back. I got scared. Good luck on the next encounter. The next encounter was a goat. Oh, 
Okay. I haven't done one of these yet. The note said there is a nearby grouping of those stones. Those are the ethereal stones of ghosts that ghosts have left behind those stones to tell me they need those stones. But those aren't the stones. Dude, this is like... This is like the turtle thing from base Elden Ring, isn't it? Just walk in circles around here and look for the invisible fucking turtle. Ain't no way. I ain't gonna walk around looking for a turtle. I'm playing Elden Wing. I would need to like see clear evidence one time that what I'm saying is even true before I walk in circles looking through the grass for the missing stones. And that would jump me up to this poison area. Dude, that actually looks like a giga skip. Potentially. It's very visible. I didn't see it. Chat, did you see it? Chat, did you see it? We're looking for stones. Did you see it? <laughs> Dude. Somewhere. Could be literally anywhere. Nobody knows where it is. Uh, I'm going to wander around down here until I get a grace. I feel like there should be a grace somewhere near here before we jump up. The last time there was a jump up, there was a grace right there. You can always jump back down. Oh, shoot. It's the double jump. Holy. Dude, this place tall. Please don't kill me. What are we thinking it is? Do I need the shield? I might need the shield. Red. You're not a bear! You're a guy! Everybody in here is just fucking guys! I'm never going to get the heal, am I? Okay. This this is a 100% shield enemy, by the way. Just keep dying to this. You can't dodge roll, dude. Not gonna happen. Gimmick PvP build? I was saying this yesterday. Sick. Yo, can I become the bear? No, that's not berry enough for me. Um, I don't know if the NPC enemies understand this new weapon type that has like a whole bunch of weird stance transitions. They don't seem to dodge it properly. There's a lot of weapons in the base game where like the, the magma slam, you slam it in the ground, then pull it up. They'll dodge the slam and they'll never dodge when you pull it out of the ground and hit again. I don't think enemies know how to dodge any of this shit that are the default like dodge roll people. 
So, uh, I'm spinning. I think even when I was just using the base attacks on earlier enemies, they, uh, they were getting caught by, like, everything. Let me see these bear paws. Causes blood buildup, strength scaling. We already have one like this. The beast claws seem the same. Red bear hunt, though. Slaughters prey with sharp claws. The attack creates a vacuum, which deals continuous damage. Maybe I'll finally clean my room. Okay. Not bad, pretty good. Is that all that's up here? This whole giant cliff? Just so one bear guy can live alone in the wilderness making YouTube videos? Survival YouTube videos? They do really well on YouTube and they're supporting a guy who... who he just He's just in the woods. He doesn't he, Why does he care about YouTube? He's just in the woods. Like, we get it. You're alone. Share it with everyone. Super lonely. <laughs> we get it. You're super alone, dude. <laughs> what is he upset about? Back on the road again. Oh, thank you, Elden Lord. You killed that weird bear guy for us. No one ever says thank you. You travel through town? A hero. They don't even look at you. No respect. I would really like to find a grace. Say thank you! Looking for a way up again. Maybe you all would be less sad if you took care of your castle. The castles are supposed to last thousands of years. How do you keep... Like... Going through yours. You shouldn't need a new castle yet. Holy shit, why do they deal so much damage with their bare hands? I just fought a guy with bare hands. Did less. I want to get on this. for the epic jump. Epic.
they poise they're poising me they're poising me with a rock you poise me with a rock I was gonna let them all live I kind of want to for a while we were using uh Increase poise, talisman. Oh, I know what happens. We lost a breakpoint on poise because we took off scaled armor. Because we couldn't hold these Vihander and the shield at the same time. And I'm still not doing that. Because then we become heavy. But we can just change our gloves. I... I had a feeling he was going to teleport with that shoulder attack. And then he fucking did. What the fuck is this steak? I never found the normal way to get up here. So I guess we're gonna do this again while my game lags. That doesn't even look like a normal way. I don't know what you're expected to do, honestly. If that ain't it. Okay, let's once again do half his HP in one attack, and then we'll just shield. Nope. One normal ass fucking dude hard. Is it because he two hits me and because all of his things are roll traps? Is that it? Surely that's not it. Surely there's more to the story. Surely it's not that the gigantic two handed sword wielding man. Doesn't have six attack strings that you can't roll. Fuck, dude. This is very laggy when I respawn in. Like, like incredibly ridiculously laggy, only right here, only sometimes.
Oh, no. Still got one. Nice. First try. Yeah, that enemy's not even very strong. Yeah, I don't know who would die to that. I think there's another boss here. There's no way it was counting him. It's, it has the summoning. I don't know. I guess it was for him. I could have let Yoda fight him. Two-handed sword talisman. Enhances attack with two-handed weapons. But... But every weapon can be one-handed. When does it consider something a two-handed weapon when it is literally two-handed? If that's the case, that's a ridiculously good talisman. And I could test it, but I would need to go somewhere to test it to be sure. It's some plants. I go to the Moog area where it has all the people sitting down. You could just hit one, then hit the next one. That's like a whole ordeal, you know what I mean? It's like a whole thing. Okay, normal guy. First hit. 771, was it? Six sixty nine. Jesus, that is one of the best talismans in the game. Without it, this is doing three four nine three. That's also that's very high. I was looking for some more like single hit damage rather than the consecutive hits. Let me... I think there's some stuff I missed here. Two, nine, eleven. What the fuck? It doesn't make any sense. Less his defense, defensive posture of groveling reduced it. If I backstabbed the first guy, I thought he was looking at me. 3493 What? Maybe it has a debuff if you use one-handed and then it's counting this as one-handed because I literally hold it in one hand with this. That might be what it is. Right, I'm here. Start over. Oh, hey, Ronnie. Um, oh, shit. Okay, hold on, guys. I know we were testing this, but I kind of have to start over. Okay. I'm just, I'm sorry to say, but I need some more chumpos to murder <laughs> so I can test my damage. <laughs> Anyone want to walk into the firing range real quick? I 
I think that's what it is. Yeah, it is definitely do you, it it should it would be cool if it said that on the item, but that's hard. I get it. Wow, okay. Next zone. What did we even get from that whole endeavor? We got a skadoo tree somewhere. Oh, we got the two duh, we got the two-handed sword talisman. Streamer brain. Where is it? Does he have one? Let's reset. Hey Ronnie, stream just started. Here we are traveling the world of uh, the lands between. Uh, Greater Rift Martin came up with that one. Got the... Uh, the whatchamacallit. House of the Dragons back on, back on TV. Be good for Svihander. There is a Path of Exile meme on the Reddit whenever someone posts an item and they're like, oh, just found this. Don't know what to do with it. The top comment 100% of the time is like, oh, this two-handed talisman just found it. Don't know what to do with it. The top comment is, seems like it would be really good with a two-handed weapon build. I agree completely. Seems like it'd be good up your ass. There's only one way to find out. I mean, you had it equipped earlier? I sure still do, but the majority of my build is this. So if I'm buffing anything, I want it to be that. If I commit a talisman to the Zweihander, then I'd be Zweihanding all the time. The Zweihander is like, I'm, I'm mostly equipping it for enemies that uh, you can knock in the air with it. And then the damage of that doesn't even matter. That goes all the way down, ain't it? I think we've been down there, though. Is that the legendary waterfall? That looks like it. That would have to be the legendary waterfall. The waterfall, yeah. Why do I equip so many weapons? Oh, uh, because I can. And because certain weapons are better in certain situations. It's kind of because... The extended answer... We have enough equip load to wear heavy armor. We want to wear heavy armor because then we take less damage and taking less damage is really good. But then because we have the amount of endurance that we have because we want stamina. Like we just have weight left over. And then I would rather have alternate weapons than a heavier armor. And the, the amount of weight where you medium roll is like a really big window so it's hard to get to a light roll because you have to like take all of your shit off and wear really like no equipment really lightweight armor one weapon but having a medium roll is like you can really just stack shit up as long as you don't go to heavy so it is very easy to be in a place where equipping a weapon is not a big deal 
And as someone who is not using spells, switching weapons is kind of the spell. It's like a caster would have glintstone pebble equipped. Uh, fuck that. I have a spear I throw. I just switched the spear is like the same as switching to a staff. Um, we did not go the other direction down here. Yeah, also, yeah. Like if you fight a, a golem type enemy in one of the caves, you need a flail, a striking weapon instead of a piercing weapon to deal damage to it. So, this main weapon, spear, ranged weapon, Zweihander, uh, if funny, <laughs> if funny, if funny when you fight the enemies that you can launch into the air and stun lock them. And then shield because it invalidates some enemies. Gonzo. I'm hearing a Glorpling. What is that? That's the first one of those I've seen in the DLC. It's going to run into a whole bunch of misbegotten, though. Not on my watch. Oh, and it didn't even have really anything. <laughs> Crew's walking up. You walking in our neighborhood? Freaking ghouls and ghost type enemy. My spear hit the rocks and it goobed me. I don't know why I'm bothering fighting these guys. I don't know. I, Misbegotten are like one of my favorite enemies for some reason. <laughs> I hear another goy. Scatter shot throw. Okay. I don't know if that's like a crossbow weapon. Okay. <laughs> Sneak attack the tree. Dude, I'm getting screwed over in such weird hits. on throwing blades oh we have one throwing knife that we decided to not use simply because we didn't have the ash of war to upgrade it to keen
Also, Spectral Spear works as one of those things that attracts enemies because it hit the ground and they're all like, what was that? Then you go stealth gameplay. Staggered. Staggered. Uh, whoop. Dude, it curved. It's just a... Just a feather. I think I would have missed a lot of these if I did speed through this area. I see it. Please lock on do it. It's like rolling for bad loot. No, somber smithing stone. It could have been an ash of war. Let me up, dude. Let me up, dude. Let me up. Uppy, uppy. I give up. I give uppy. Moving on. Surely three things to one random building is enough loot. There's surely nothing on top. Oh, a shadow sunflower. Um, big bridge. I don't think there's much else down here unless there's like a random cave along this wall. I see some musk. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not jumping in there. Freaking third partying, dude. Are you serious? Oh my God. We were so close to number one Roy, Royale victory. Come on, dude. With the spear? If that guy lives, I'm going to go down there and shake his hand. I saved your ass. You were so outnumbered. <laughs> I knew he was going to hit me. That was way more damage than I thought it would be. That's like one vitality's worth of... Oh no, you didn't.
sensing Giga Boy ahead. No. No, I guess it was the full cave full of them ahead. Aggressive handshake? He attacked me. He couldn't accept the fact that he needed help from someone. And it upset him. Typical male ego. I hate men. Pearl shield. Dude, y'all just got fucking robbed. Boosts all non-physical damage negation while guarding. That's pretty good. Because most shields you can get 100% physical negation and take no damage and then you like take chip from like magic and stuff. I don't know that I would... Equip it. Honestly. Ah... Okay, we already went that way. We killed them once before. I'm right? Like, I'm surprised they respawned. But he had a melee guy with him. Is that the same direction? Yeah, that is the same direction. We came out of that cave. I think we've done everything down here. We need three skadoos now. Okay. We didn't... We went all the way down here. This whole dark area. We went underneath that bridge. But that does not lead to anywhere relevant. I think we're way off track. I think we're way out of line. We just need to go back to this big zone and probably go straight down the road. Though there was the guy here. The reason we went east is because we were told that there was a guy and he would teach me fucking martial arts. So we went all the way down here, which is not really east from, from here. Down in the Morth Ruins, we couldn't drop down because we would die. I have once again think this is a cliff you can't drop down because dying. Looks like you have to go all the way around because it's cliff ring. Cliffing ring. I guess we go straight up the road. Like a bunch of basic boys just going straight up the road. It's just before the ruins, the martial arts man. He's on the road next to the ruins. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. We go find that guy. Probably not even going to use it, but I do want to see it. Uh, the beginning of the stream, we killed all these people. We cleared the camp. They're back. They'd just be respawning. Oh, I miss... How the fuck? Because I went... I immediately went right. There's a whole step of Mikola here. Dude's walking. Hold up. I'm going to rest. I think that's my third one for an upgrade if he's going to fight me. Hold up. Getting 5% more damage real quick. Okay. I'll talk to you. <clears throat> he said... The message said no need to talk. I'll teach you in battle. Hope he meant it. You have to use the emote? Dude. Fuck Miyazaki. What a fucking dipshit. <laughs> what a fucking dipshit, dude. Hold on. Where's that message? Monk's missive. 
Seek me to the east if you wish to pursue the ways of the warrior. When you find me, you will challenge me to about. There is no need for words. I only respond to specific... How do you even open the emote wheel? Which one of these challenges you? Beckon? Bald? <laughs> May the best win. Clever use of hands. I have nothing to learn from you. All I learned how to do was use an emote. I'm cheating? I'm cheating because I became immune to poison and launched him into the air? What do you mean? The dry leaf arts. Dane's hat. Grow not complacent. Continue to temper your strength. <laughs> I don't know. That just seems like a forum comeback. Like you fucking 1v1 someone and absolutely demolish them 100 to 0. Grow not complacent. Get. I'm getting the last word and no matter what you fucking... Come on, dude. Uh, it has strength dex scaling, so actually we might be able to use it if it's scaling both, which is what we've been upgrading. It has palm blast. Spiritual seekers known as the dry leaf sect imbues a hand with energy before using a palm strike to unleash an explosive blast. The already formidable power impact can be bolstered by charging the attack. Remember, grow not complacent when you use it. Complacent you are. Okay. I like it a lot. Dude, the kicks. Dude, it may be time to, to grow into a fucking punch man. I, I like the, the, the sword. But goddamn. And we could put on the kick talisman. Just kick people in their fucking heads. Does his hat do anything special? Nope. It just makes you edgy. Well, I took you for hey, Blacksmith, you can you do me a arms. favor? I'm literally, I'm literally gonna lay out my arms. Can you just smash on my fucking hands? Ah! Ah! Yeah, really refine these. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We might run in the same situation where with one of the daggers, it wouldn't let me use the Ash of War to change the quality. Okay, yeah, but this one just comes with it. And chat was telling me I was stupid and I was telling them they were stupid. Uh, and guess who has the last laugh? Me, the streamer who told people that they were wrong and lost viewers probably because of it. All right, next time I'm just going to say grow not complacent.
if the, if the punch has big stagger, I would take off this Vihander because the the gloves have no weight, and then we could wear a bigger armor or whatever. There's also like if you full commit it to being martial artsman. Um. There is the ever-famous, well-known, Blue Dancer charm raises attack power when you have lower equipment. Leaf Mace! Thanks for subbing. Check out this. I don't know what this is, but this is for you. This is what you get. That's a frog, isn't it? Let me look up real quick. Elden Ring Blue Dancer Charm. I want to know what percent it is. And how worth it it actually is to wear, like, no equipment. Uh, not even the wiki is telling me. Which is rare. Oh, it has a, it has a whole chart. Never mind. It goes from 15% and it scales down depending on weight. 15% is pretty good. I found out recently, reading more before the DLC, that every single damage multiplier is multiplicative. So the more of them that you have that apply to one specific thing, the better it gets. So like if you can apply Blue Dancer and then you can have the kick bonus and then you can have... Um... What is it? The uh, prosthetic is uh, attack power with successive attacks that they all multiply with each other. And then you can really commit to a, like a full build that way of the giga damage. Okay, let's punch some people. There's a whole crowd of there. People just waiting to let me test my punches. Dude, he axe kicked me. I thought I was doing a double kick before. Oh, dude, the first heavy is just a kick. And you can stagger it. And then we could get the kick talisman and just Taekwondo people with the one singular kick. Oh, it's weird in that when you're... Oh, I'm not dual wielding it. <laughs> I'm putting my hand away and taking out my hand. It is impossible to know if you're dual wielding. Okay, now I'm dual wielding because I block with one hand. But that's what changes it. Okay, because the heavy attack when you're dual wielding is punch kick. Otherwise, it was just one kick. It gives it a, a lot of... It's like a double move set. And that's the double air kick. Kind of like the single just blop better. I need like yeah I need my shield so I can tell when I'm dual wielding <laughs> oh that is a lot of damage honestly Considering, uh, that's like the same amount of damage I'm getting out of the, the sword. But I don't, I like have an extra talisman de dedicated to the sword. So I can't move while I'm charging this. Four, 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 four? It's like an extra thousand.
I have no range. I'm pretty sure I have a jumping forward double air kick that explodes. I think I got enough range. Like when you're fighting a boss, you're usually hugging them anyway. But you do be right. My hands have less range. This is true. Oh, this is the ruin. This is the, the fallout hole. Also, I don't even need the palm strike. I'm sure you can put the other unarmed attacks on this or a different Ash of War. I know for a fact that there is a kicking Ash of War you can get from the trailers. I'm gonna kick this goat. <laughs> I'm gonna kick this goat! Come here! Come on! I'm kicking the fucking goat. I wanna test the damage of the, uh, the kick charm. I don't remember what kind of charm it was. Um, bruh, I don't know. Here. Kicking and oh, specifically skills, if its phrasing is correct. Man, I need some test ghouls again. Horse kick! <laughs> kick! 704. You ain't nothing but a test kick to me. 641. It's not a big difference. I mean, it stacks up and applies on each kick, but when I'm really just trying to... I can charge it. I didn't realize I can charge it. And then you could get like the charge attack count talisman and just walk through the game kicking people. <laughs> Which one is the charge talisman? Axe enhances charge attacks. There's 900 damage kicks. Uh, 
Um. This is this is going too far. I'm gonna fuck up my whole talisman loadout. I wish you could have a second one, man. So I could just try a weird thing and then not feel bad about it. I don't know that there's anything else that would empower the kick. Even more. Somebody do I don't care about the double kick. I care about the charged blast. Weak. That one probably deals more damage though, because that's the two-handed one. Some kickables over there. We're gonna just do a running jump kick. But then that's not a charge attack. He's cheating. Bro, I want to kick. How much damage was I getting on... I mean, I think I was getting like 700 on normal swings. But the other one... I don't know, man. It would get even better if we had the Ash of War for kicking. There's like a whole air spin kick. Fist versus bear. Let's go. The ultimate test. Jesus Christ. Okay. Didn't really fight back. <laughs> it was not that ultimate of a test. I really just feel bad. I feel like I murdered wildlife. It's going around. No. Oh. It's going around kicking people. Yeah, and then I could, uh, I, I, there's still two talismans that could buff it, like if we actually did Blue Dancer. Or I could just poise up so no one could ever stop me from kicking ever again. They will be kicked. Bum, bum. Anything else? I mean, jump attack is okay. We could try it. It's very specifically that one axe drop or the two-handed is the double kick. Two 
2,000 damage for a jump attack is a lot, man. When my full charge stab with the other setup was a 3,000 for a stab. This still has like the forward momentum, but no charge up. And I could just keep doing shit. I kind of am disappointed how good this is. Because it's making doing anything else feel like going... I like the sword. I like the sword a lot. I don't like fighting rune bears. I'll tell you that much. As such, I'm debating not doing it. the ultimate test. The first time it moved away from me, the moment I start charging that. Okay. He's jerking off with me. I don't think this is gonna end well i put up i i let up too much pressure and i'm not gonna get a stun on him <laughs> i do need to see how much damage the palm does Also, where am I? Getting so sidetracked. Oop, eep, oop. I got to go through the fire guy. I still don't understand them at all. As such, I think I'm just going to run. Maybe go try and fight the one in the starting zone, which I've been saying I want to do for a while. So I can better understand what the frick to do. What that noise? Somewhere a great rune has broken. And so too has a powerful charm. 
Uh, I might know where that is. There was a sealed door that we found. It said it was sealed by Mikola. It's a very weird way to do like, uh, like a power gating. That's some raw boss energy. It was all the way down here in a giant hole in the fissure. Did the Titan accidentally open a door? Yeah, there was a there was a big yellow sealed door here that said it was sealed by Mikola. It's gone now. Whatever's in here is going to get kicked. There's a bunch of boats. Boat coffins. Why would Mikola do this? I don't think the Tarnished is powerful enough. You must progress at least this far before I open my gate. Said Mikola. A spear is just a long range kick. Holy shit, I jumped high. <laughs> uh, that status effect might be eternal slumber. Where in which I'm pretty sure you fucking die. <laughs> All right, that's I guess we're committed. I the best all I can do is change. I could drop a whole bunch. I could drop all my other weapons and just have better armor or something. Oh! Jesus. Still shocked how much it's doing. For as tall as they are, it looks like I'm kicking them in the freaking head. Oh, it's because I have charged attack bonus too. So that punch kick is doing a ton of damage. Because I'm holding the full charge after the running kick. this setup fighting more than one thing at a time. Perfectly timed. The combo. Every time. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm ripping out their heart and eating it like a psychopath. Oh, 
Well. I really want to see how much the full charge palm does. I should have done it to the resting guy. Yeah, that's that's a little less than the the stab was. I think I'm underestimating a little bit how much uh these guys don't have that much health for how big they are. I think also just because they're like blunt hits that they have a lot more stagger. I abandon here my love. I think that's the time where you would say that maybe and I'm curious what other Ash of War I could put on there is Life Fist which gives it arcane scaling I'm really not using the Ash of War much so like Bloodhound Step is valid kick funnily the kick is gonna do like that kick is just to, like, break shields. It doesn't do anything. And yet, for some reason, I don't know, I want to try it with the Talisman. See if that is true, that it doesn't do anything. But also, I already know. But let a man confirm. Let's kick someone. kick one of you. <laughs> 75 damage. What a fucking useless Ash of War, man. I thought maybe it would have some weird synergy with the Talisman. Guess it's puncho mode. Wait a minute. about storm stomp as well if that gives any damage but it's probably the same thing as kick where that ability just doesn't do anything raptor of the mist a oh, dude dude raptor of the mists this is a weird ability where you you go down to this duck stance and it's actually a parry it's like a it's a huge parry window like more than any buckler uh it makes you invulnerable to damage from one hit and then you teleport into the sky and then you get to do a, a default like air attack which for me is the kicks so it is actually probably sicko mode it is like uh i believe it's a 30 frame parry if we're talking 60 fps also, it ducks. You, like, actually duck high attacks. Which can be a little bit annoying, because sometimes you actually want to get hit so that you can do the parry. I haven't seen you guys in a while.
There's got to also be like a martial arts outfit you can wear for even more damage. Which is disgusting to even think about that this needs more damage. I sense something uppy. This is a no horse area. This is a also apparently a no lock on area. The elbow. But yeah, if we change outfits, it would kind of have to be a uh, dancer charm angle. But I'd rather have the armor and the poise. So I don't think, I don't know if I would give it up. Because not getting hit out of these light attacks is probably good. It's a cover shooter. Oh, you want to play that? Got him. You deserve to die. I think what really puts it over the top is that that kick counts as a charge attack and then you can axe talisman, which is a ton of damage, but it's a relatively fast charge up. So it's pretty reasonable to do, especially because it double hits. That seems to be like where the majority of the damage comes from. <laughs> this area is so goofy. Guess that's why you don't get to use a horse here. Shut up. Shut up. Shut the freak up. There's a whole space back there I didn't go. I suppose I should check it. Ouchie. They don't chain react. I was hoping to get like the full explosion cycle.
Thanks for the souls. I knew it was going to be a freaking glove wart. All these boats have glove warts on them. Which is what you use to upgrade spirit ashes, which is the thing that summons things that you don't use. And if you use it, everyone tells you that you're lame and they beat you up. I don't want that to happen to me. I don't want to be lame. My boat's leaking. I wonder... I think it's probably like 200,000 souls to level up at this point. Yep. 206... Actually, 206? Streamer, it was 206. You were off by 3%. Streamer. I didn't look if these are resurrecting. They are. Oh, because I kicked the... Oh, I thought I kicked them off the world. That's going to get me killed. Shit. Out of here. I'm about to key blast off. I forgot what my, uh, I think my wall rising crouch attack is also a kick. Oh. Kind of a relevant kick. That was, uh, the raptor. I forgot I put raptor on already. That's how brain work. Shit. The Giga Glorp. This is a job for the fireman. Okay, maybe not even the fireman. This is a job for. Why are you attacking that way? Punt! Wait, I didn't. <laughs> I don't have the punch on! I'm telling you, he's sitting on top of the most important thing in the game. I don't know what that is, but I guarantee you it's true. I really feel like this is the this is the exact moment where you've been punching this thing all the way down to one HP and then it like grabs you and instant kills you. I played Dark Souls games before. Wow, I get congealed congealness and a and a do gem. <sighs> I just do it all over me. Bye. Who this? Oh good, the guard counter is a kick. That's also actually really good news. Mm. 
multi-layered ring of light. Guys, don't you know? The light is stupid. Give up. Return to shadow. As in Shadow the Hedgehog. He's so freaking cool. That's an, that's an awesome Peter Griffin Sonic. Look at all the aminals. <laughs> hey, welcome to... Hey, guys, what's going on? It's Stir here coming at you with an Elden Ring quick tips video. If you guys really need to farm materials for your crafting, this is the place you're going to want to do it. You're going to want to open... I can't open the map. Hold on. I'm not going to edit this out. Hold on. I can't. You're going to want to come to... The Fissure Depths. And here you're going to find a whole bunch of animals. And as long as you mercilessly, mercilessly murder them, then you can get any crafting material you want. And once you've murdered all the animals, this bit went on too long. I admit it. Where is my Zvihender? I think we can just equip this v hinder if we ever need, like, AoE. This is what the PoE2 video will be like. What's going on? <laughs> Yo, what's up, guys? Grimro here. Yep. Please grant me the courage to jump? To fly to your feet? Saint Trina? Oh no, no. Well, there's no one here. It seems pretty safe here. This is chill. I thought St. Trina would be a normal person! Uh. <laughs> I didn't expect fucking sludge horse! That's not even St. Trina. Okay. It's not St. Trina. That I, I assume St. Trina was not a sludge horse rider. I don't even think I can ride a horse down there. I gotta kick a dude off his horse. And I gotta jump down every time. This game's a weird horse fetish. <laughs> we got sludge horses, we got gravity horses. We have horses you can ride. Holy damage. Oh 
Okay. I'm still learning. I'm I'm getting input buffered. I'm getting input buffered. It's very laggy down here. It's so laggy, I think you guys can see it. I think you can confirm that I'm not lying. I mean, it's not anymore. There's a certain angle. Like, if I look in one direction down here, it's really bad. Okay. I don't think this fight's going to be awful. But like, if I look in that direction where that light is, then I get like... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think this fight's gonna be that bad while it goes super sane in the background. All right, let's just try and fight it where we can look the other way. I think this also might be a Claymore fight. Bro, that's why I hand her. I wonder how much shield uh, barrier... Most of its attacks have been physical until it goes sicko mode. But yeah, I can like fully block the horse. I can block most things, honestly. I didn't expect to... Funny how much less damage this does than the kicks right now. Yeah, there is like no reason to use this Vihander anymore. Okay, I've been curious to see what this actually does. Oh, it kills you. Oh. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know what to do on the third wave. When it seemed like everything was on fire. Jump? I don't know, because they come down from the sky. I tried to stay on the ground. Most things... Maybe I, maybe, maybe I got up too early. Also, I'm not using the Ash of War. I think there's a lot of situations where I could use it, the Ash of War to dodge instead of... I fight it. This run back? Very cool.
This enemy is, uh, very good at taking slight steps backwards after every single attack. And I love it. Spacing expert. Yeah, I... This Vihander felt like shit because it's slow and it doesn't deal damage anymore. And I have to chase him with kicks. I think I was doing better when I wasn't shielding as well. I think I'm going to not shield and I'm going to try and Raptor. The Palm will reach? The one where I stand still? I don't think so. I think it's a raptor angle. Until it's not. <laughs> like raptor is letting me get kicks in where I think I otherwise wouldn't. But there's a couple attacks where I just get hit for free. If I do it on like the final attack of his string. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I feel like I haven't had a legitimate attempt in like several tries that I'm just like trying out different ideas rather than fighting him. I'm going to fight this guy. Yeah, Raptor sucks because he just moves. Every attack is... Every attack is fucking crazy. Like, even if I Raptor in his face, I'm missing. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I shouldn't be doing it. I think the other setup I was doing before this would actually be good at this. But I don't want to change all of my talismans. Boss just goes wibble wobble. Wish for bosses also. I know there's mods that do this where it would zoom your camera out a little bit more versus bosses. So when it's like right up in your face, your camera won't like constantly do this. Sorcery. Yeah. 
I, you can't use your horse down here. Oh, you can. No, you can't. I could uh, slightly above this area, but I, you can't when you land. Nope, he's gone. Dude, I, like... Am I getting sorcery checked? Oh, I'm fat rolling. I do I thought I would have time to charge these and chase it I don't I don't I don't have time to guard counter and kick there's a chance I should do less dodge rolling and just run on the side that he's swinging on but I think he mixes it up because he holds it out in front he does like full sweeps man I really hit him for 14 Attack the boss while it recovers? Yeah, they stopped adding a uh, recovery to boss attacks quite a while ago. If you think bosses have recovery, I don't think you've played Elden Ring past like the beginning area. I do think my best attempts were... I mean, the best attempt was with the Zweihander. And just guard parry. Because I could actually reach it. I'm going to try the, the kick parry. equipped I have my actual fist equipped uh, ah! that's why I'm doing 14 damage wrong fist put your other fist on I'm falling. I'm falling.
I'm just gonna attack during its recovery frames. I don't know, everything I've seen, it seems... Seems like an easy fight. If you have ranged attacks. I still don't really know how to dodge the phase where he shoots fire everywhere. Got you. I don't know, dude. I've never felt so stumped on a boss. So I'm, I'm envisioning even dodging all of those perfectly. And then it walks away. Then I have no stamina and it walks away. It has so many attacks with so many delays that look the same, so even dodging them all is a hard ask. Like, I, I, you have an opening there, and if I attack, I'm out of stamina because I fucking... Fuck, dude. I think... I'm going... <laughs> Okay, we weird strat. Hear me out. I'm just gonna avoid him. And I don't mean dodge. I mean, I'm literally just gonna not go near him ever. This was the... The lion dragon strat look how mad he is he, I'm doing what he's doing to me oh but he also can do that which looks like a normal swing Trust me, there's an end game to this plan. You just don't know it yet. Just wait until I can heal. Wait until I have the, a moment in this fight where I can do an action. I thought that was going to be the throw. Nope, couldn't hit him. Oh, 
I was thinking that he was going to go into the phase where he the, he sends the horse at you from the muck. But it doesn't look like he does that unless you damage him. Because that's like legitimately the only opening I've seen so far is after the second horse, he has like a really long recovery time. I was hoping you could bait that. It's like they designed a torrent boss fight and disabled torrent. Yeah, they do that a couple times, like the Elden Beast that they finally changed. There's like, there's like throwing weapons you can use on horseback now and stuff. I, dude, I think I'm gonna come back later. There's a lot of other stuff we can do. I'm really kind of stumped with my current build. What my options are. Using Yoda is an option here. Using summons in Elden Ring is like handing your controller to your brother. I would like to play the game. You don't, like, every boss is the same if you do summons and you don't really solve the boss. And bosses are kind of puzzles. The puzzle answer always becomes have something that taunts the boss for you. It's not very fulfilling. Bye. He's gone. He's just fucking gone. I think I have a lot more time there after the first attack than I think I do, but sometimes he follows it up and sometimes he doesn't. No stamina to do anything. The singular moment I had, I'm out of stamina, dude. Okay. He's gonna run up, he's gonna swing, and then he deceptively pauses for a really long time. Except this time, I bet he won't. But if he does, we're gonna hit him. And then he's gonna hit me, fuck, dude! different opening yeah what he i tried to bait this shit forever before and he wouldn't do it i 
He backs up between that swing. Backs up between that swing. You know what? You know what it might be? Is the slashes he's doing, I might be able to jump over. If we could jump over him, then we could kick. Or... Enemies like this, this is usually not the case. If he's parryable, and I really doubt you can parry him, then he seems like a guy you'd want to parry. Okay, sometimes the jump worked. Not all of the time. I think I get how that works now. Okay, I didn't know about that one. Jesus. What the fuck is he doing? Okay, so those flames come back to him? Okay. I do think that jumping the attacks was a decent thing to learn. Maybe I can raptor the fire. Dude, that might work. Okay, I'm legitimately doing one more try, and if it's not like 60% of his health, then I'm I'm gonna go somewhere else. Because we also I think just got to another boss in another spot too. That seems like it would be earlier in progress than this boss is. 
Because this one is also starting to feel like... Um, if I'm doing the jump thing and I'm trading damage... Then it might just be a scaling thing of if I dealt more damage. Like even 10-15% more damage. Which isn't unreasonable to get with the way the DLC scales. I guess I was greedy because I attacked him. While he was getting back on his horse, I attacked him. One one more. One more. Literally one more. Literally. Literally. That one didn't count. Literally. No greed. Full juice. I'm not going to do anything dumb like attack. What's the recovery? Oh, I don't have that anymore. Has this been like an hour of of barely hurting him? I hope he doesn't do the jump as the first attack. Yeah, make sure you don't hit him there. <laughs> That'd be fucked up if you hit him there. Okay, he throws it again. Never seen that so far. I am gonna go away. It's like a Sekiro boss where whenever you need to jump a sweep, it shows the symbol above their head, but without that and a hitbox that doesn't consider you jumping. If I'm actually going to jump the slashes, that seems like the only way I get damage in. So I'm bound to trade a ton of my health bar until I scale up and can take less damage from jumping and trading with him. Which is how the, the sword boss felt that I just ended up like... Ranella had to trade with certain attacks. Like, maybe I could remove the poise charm and get, like, a damage reduction charm on there. And that could effectively do the same thing, so maybe, I don't know, I want to see what's here. Okay. We actually, we fought one of these. Ish. When we were skipping around the map. I don't think it's quite like this one yet, but I, I beat one up in like the red flower area. I wonder if I can raptor his bite. Sick. Too early! I really want to see if you can do it against that. I don't think you can because it's a grab, but it would be awesome if you could. So I'm going to die doing it again. probably should I should probably just run and dodge it it's not hard but it would be funny he would think he ate me and I would teleport behind you I 
like I expected the other one. Yeah, the other one I fought didn't have all these moves. And maybe it would be better if the raptor thing works, because I thought dodge rolling would work, but... I think you have to have been already running for a while. To avoid getting eaten. If that attack hit me, then I would have dodged it and I wouldn't have died, but he missed. He fucking missed. You just start doing that right point blank. Okay. It's a little rough when every attack is signaled by the mouth opening. I thought that was the I was like waiting for the one where he would come and try and eat me so I could heal and then he opened his mouth and I was like oh cool it's time Okay, I see how that one's different. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Raptor's pretty good on this boss. I'm surprised my damage feels so low though. Like I was blasting things in uh, like when exploring. I think a lot of my damage is tied up in the charge attack. You don't have time to do on bosses. There we go. 
Oh, it's on his other eye on the other side. If I dodge rolled, it still would have caught me. So I tried to start running and get around it because I didn't think I was in his mouth yet. Fuck, dude. I feel like we're making progress on this one, though. That was a really early transition for where his health is. Spiky haired boy. Okay, he double jumps now. Okay, he rolling now. <laughs> 